So while I launched a drone and grabbed a camera, Björn found us a guide. Thanks for welcoming us to your facility to explain what you guys are doing here. So we are really excited to learn what the secret sauce is. Run us through the steps. So the water comes in here. So what is the pretreatment yes. about? We are just using the screening. We are taking our water after the screening. We don't need any extra pretreatment. What we take uh, with the pump from here, mm -hmm. it is going to in, in, inside of the, our unit. So after screening, you go directly to the container. Yes. Let's okay. have a look into that because the magic happens over yes, there. Right? Right. Water comes from here, here comes some here, water. Here, directly to a reactor. Our uh, nanotechnology, we call G-Nano, is up there. This is part of the magic. Then you dose your magic. Into the reactor and water and the G-Nano technology come together. What yes. is the magic? Come on, tell us. <laughs> In our material, actually, we are using this three function at the same time. Oxidation, absorption, yes. and capsulation. You can think of our material like this. There is a surface on it. And okay. when water touch on it, directly it starts to create the radicals. Hydroxyl and super oxygen radicals. Yeah. And it's releasing the water. And this releasing starts to create the oxidation in the media for the yeah. organics. We have a core. This is making the absorption Absorb and capsulation. I used to be an activated carbon guy. I'm a veteran of many terrible battles. Activated carbon is, you have activated carbon, you have pores, yeah. large pores, small yeah. pores, major yeah. pores, and the particles yeah. goes in. So this it's for is all organic. absorption. Absorption, this with is, a D. This, and this is, is absorption. absorption. So that is a difference. On the surface. Okay. You change the entire adsorption material. Yes. That's why it is absorption and is no longer yes. absorption. Absorption, absorption and capsulation. We add a special material. This special material collects the heavy metals on it, like nitrogen or phosphorus. And because of the static cloud around it, they come together and bigger. And okay. start to get heavy and settling. And this reaction is happening fast. Got it. So, so that means the magic sauce is on the top of the tank and you dose it. So yes. what is a magic sauce? Is that something miracle or can I can I get sure. it from Alibaba and from sure, Amazon? Sure, it's not science. There is no miracle or something. Actually, our raw materials you can find in any country. Okay. But the important issue, how we are making process with for Okay. It. We can modify it according to our target. What is it? We are talking about uh, what is the nanomaterial? This is, this is know how. I cannot say that to you. Okay, so that is, that, that is really the. You know the modern recipes? They say everything but they say small things and it gets extra delicious. Something exactly. like this. You like like Coca Cola. We have, yes. Everybody knows water and sugar, but yes. there is some magic in it. Yes, yes. If I tell you, I would have to kill you. You dose it, you mix it. Yes, and after this reaction, yeah. we pump in the settlement part. Directly? So laminar clarifier Which in is there. in the back. So yes. the second tank is just for... This is test mixer and this is the slow mixer. Ah. They are the reactor. For reaction, first we need test mixing yeah. to contact all material. In second part, we need small time to reaction. I need the material mm -hmm. all the time. So it is a commodity product for me as mm -hmm. a wastewater operator. Mm -hmm. So I need this material if I have your container yes. and I have to dose it all the time. So how much do I need? Actually, this will change according to your water source. And if you are talking for the domestic wastewater, yeah. I think now we are dosing 0.25 gram per cubic meter. 0.25 gram per so. cubic meter. Let's talk about the other thing which I need all the time if I operate that, which mm -hmm. is energy. Okay. So let's talk we about are, energy. Uh, Where are the solar panels? We are here in beautiful Turkey. Yes, actually we can work with this unit with solar panels because we have pump in here. We have a dosing mixer and two mixer here. Our energy consumption is low, 4.17 kilowatt hour per okay. cubic meter. We are here in the inlet part where yes. the magic happens. Yes. So let's jump to the other side okay. where hopefully we will see the results. Yes. So, this is the operation part. This is connected to directly to computer. We can see more details. We can give the orders from the long distance. Mm -hmm. I can make operation from the, my computer in my office. This is the second step of the reaction. After the uh, reactors, it is coming to clarifier, sludge and water is separating. 
This is my clarifier. Yeah. And this is my outlet. So the water comes over here. This is over overflow. Here and da -da -da -da. overflow here and come here and this red hose, my outlet water. So that is the outlet. Yes. Let's take a sample if you want. That is the outlet. Can I drink that? No. I cannot drink that. No, sure I, no. I was, I was, I was expecting. <laughs> and not that bad. I, I need to protect you. How much COD do I have here? In? Just give me a range. 15, 20. Maximum. 15, so 15, 20. So we have. Maximum. So what is your removal rate in terms of COD? Our range is 80% to 98%. So it depends on how high it is. Yes. If it is 600, yes. then yes. it is more yes. efficient yes. as 150. I what is the TSS rate? Somehow. Let's measure. Let's take that to test that. Just um, you can make one release to clean the beaker. This is the main problem. We are talking three languages. English, know. Turkish, Arabic. I did this during my diploma. <laughs> and, and after three months, I, I realized all results are wrong. Oh, Be really? because, of, because of one ratio, because of calibration issue. <laughs> While the results were good and the unit efficiently treated wastewater, Björn got curious. Indeed, the container features different outlets. The treated wastewater one we already tested but also different polishing steps, activated carbon, advanced filtration, UV disinfection and reverse osmosis. So that's the one we're testing now to see how that unit could be used in a reuse context. This is 0.12. Ah, this can drink? Yeah, drinking that water was a kind of a running gag. Don't worry, we're still not stupid. We do know that's not drinking water. No, drinking water is not... It like is not this. drinking water, clearly, clearly. I think we have to have a disclaimer here. It is not a drinking water. Let's say, but the NTU parameter would, would be fine from the drinking water perspective. I think two visits earlier, we was had really bad chance. We arrange our system according to uh, domestic wastewater, okay. but they make discharge to industrial wastewater, so it gets confused. We are taking water really bad and we need to manage. If any traditional system you leave this problem, you need days to fix it. You need to cover the biomass and yeah. the bacteria and other things. We solve this problem just in how far? After the municipality That's has realized everything works pretty well with this unit, it is obviously that this municipality is pretty old, right? So when are they going to change to take the G-Nano for the entire plant? Have you ever heard the Turkish bureaucracy? <laughs> no, but I know, but I'm used to the German one, so...